Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there, Hunters, and welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. I mean, for reals this time, we're actually back here in Monster Hunter, where it all began. So, of course, we're going to be starting all the way back to the beginning with basic controls. And as you may or may not have known, PC version of Rise has some seriously messed up keybind options for mouse and keyboard. And not only are the default controls just atrocious, but also some of the keybindings don't even work. So, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I made the video for the demo version of PC Rise going over my config, and this is basically going to be that, but since we have full options in the menu now, I feel it's better to update it so it's easier to follow. Anyway, I, I just want to go over my setup for gunning on mouse and keyboard, because honestly, I don't know how many people are using mouse and keyboard for anything besides gunning. Uh, for melee weapons and stuff, like, I don't see a point, just use controller. Um, it's just more of a gunner thing since aiming on the mouse just feels so much better than an analog. And then also let me state that the point of this video was to get keybinds set up to have access to items, ammo, and crafting all without needing to use control, which brings up the UI and locks like your camera and shooting and everything, and that's really annoying. So uh, let's get into this. First, we're going to go over here to the controls tab, and we need to go to the mouse wheel settings one. Uh, this needs to be item bar. This will let us use our item bar with scroll wheel. And then mouse wheel settings too is going to be action bar. I don't really use the action bar all that much. It's for camera and controlling your pets, which can be easily bound to the hot bar. So I have it set to control and mouse wheel. So it's sort of accessible, but not really in the way at all. Basically, I can't accidentally use it. Now, the super extra important thing here is that the keyboard settings one need to be item bar. I'm not joking. Set this to item bar. I don't even know what the keyboard setting two does, but that's going to be item bar two. So yeah, it looks like there's just a lot of item bar set up here, but trust me, it has to be this way. And then before I forget, make sure you go up to your radial settings and for keyboard, make it type two. Type two allows you to instantly use items on the one through nine hotkeys with just a single press. Type one just brings up the hotbar when you press one through nine, and then you have to press it again to actually use the item while the hotbar is up. It's kind of silly. So let's go into the keybinding menu and go to the ranged weapons. I pretty much left the menu at default and we aren't really gonna be touching melee. So going down, the first thing I changed was I made target lock tab because tab targeting is basically ingrained into my brain. So yeah, we need tab targeting. And then of course our sprint, which is dash is shift, but unfortunately we have to have sprint sheath as a combo action. And it's only the toggle version of sprint, which is hugely annoying. Basically, if you're on a dog or you want to sprint, you have to press shift to sprint. But if you're doing some other animation or you get stopped or slowed for whatever reason, you have to press it again to sprint. But you can't mash it because it'll stop and start constantly. But it's also the only way to get an easy option to sheath our weapons for gunner. Sprinting being held, which is a completely different keybind, would constantly activate and reapply you know, sprinting as soon as you can as long as you're holding it. But this keybind does not sheath our weapons because Capcom. And of course, you can't have shift beyond both because that's a conflict for whatever reason, so it's empty, sadly. Next, we have a few standard keybinds, nothing new here. Dodge is on space, interact with F, and I threw away the chat menu off to the side so I could rebind other keys. I'm not going to talk to people anyway. Then we got the attacks. Left click is on R2, shoot left click, standard for shooting games makes sense, let's move on. I have special ammo and special attack here on E, which may sound weird, and it kind of is, but it works for me, it's what I had in world. For gunning, special ammo like your landmines or your wyvern heart is loaded with E. On the downside though, bow power shot is E as well, so you have to use left click and E to manage your bow. Which honestly, again, it's fine by me, it's maybe not for everybody, but it's easily accessible and it's just right there and I don't have a problem with it. Next, we're going to have Reload and Load Coatings, which is R. R for Reload. It's a shooter game. You see where I'm going with this? Makes sense. Next, Aim Down Sights. Right click. Easy. As you can see, I basically try to get all the keybinds to set up to be like a first person shooter game. Now, while the weapon is sheathed, right click becomes our wire bug jump, and that's easy enough to manage because we just right click then left click. However, using the forward pulling wire bug becomes troublesome as it's like right click and R or right click and E. And the wire bug recovery tech is space and right click, which is a little weird to use in an instant when you get knocked down. So that's the only trouble with like the wire bug commands. You're gonna have to get used to that. Now the canine attack was thrown away to another random keybind that I'm not gonna use. It has to be bound though, because Capcom. So it's set to just a button I'm not gonna press because I'm not attacking on the dog ever. Now I move the Palamut jump to left click on my dog, so the controls are left click, right click for jump and dash. It's just my two main options. 
Now, why I can have multiple keybinds on some keys and for some things, but not for others is beyond me. Like right here, we have turret special ammo, which was default to E, but I threw this off to the side because I wanted my special ammo to be E, and for whatever reason, the turret and my special ammo uh, are conflicting if they're the same button. I know it's completely different character states while I'm on turret and not, and I have some things bound to the turret and some things not, uh, so I don't know why it's a conflict because Capcom, I guess, but yeah. Moving on, the multi-action keys. So these are where your silk binds are because gunner silk binds are not actually on by default because Capcom. The R1 triangle and R1 circle are the two silkbind actions, and I have these set to C and V. They're close and easy to access, although it is a bit tedious with silkbinds that you spam a lot, like with bow and light bowgun buffs, uh, but honestly, I can't really see anywhere else to put these. Another important keybind here is the use item and sheath weapon. Again, why this is a combo key? Because Capcom. It's a weird one for sure. So I have mine set to Q, and as you can see, I basically surrounded all the buttons near WASDA with my other commands. Q on use item and sheath is a kind of stupid keybind though, because here's how it works. So if I have a weapon out and I press Q on like a potion, it will sheath my weapon and that's it because it's a combo key. So it does sheath. Now when my weapon is sheathed, I have to press Q again to use the item. So if you're in a pinch and you don't want to miss your opening to heal, you basically have to mash it to make sure you drink your potion as soon as possible. You might be thinking, okay, well that makes sense. What's wrong? Well, if you use your hotbar for items like with your potions and your weapons out and you just press one, it will sheath your weapon and automatically start drinking the item as soon as possible with one button press. So why is this a thing at all? Why is it different on this keybind and not like the item bar? Like why can't it just automatically use it? Why can't we have use item as one keybind and then hold to sprint and sheath as another keybind so we could just hold shift to sprint and it would automatically sheath our weapon if it's out. Like, World had that, why not Rise? Because Capcom. Now, moving on, everything else is pretty much thrown away or left alone, but you'll notice something here. My ammo coatings bar is set up to up arrow and down arrow. Why? Well, that's not the ammo and coatings bar, it's the action bar select, because Capcom. And if we continue down a little bit more, we have the action bar up and down set to mouse 3 and 4, because this is actually the ammo encoding bar. This was the case in a demo, but now this is only the case if you set your keyboard settings 1 to item bar. That's why that's so important. Why is this the case? Well, you guessed it, because Capcom. So yeah, there's a lot of weird inputs here because the keybinds are all bugged and messed up and because clearly nobody played mouse and keyboard at Capcom. The whole optimized mouse and keyboard support is total BS. Anyway, the rest of the keybinds were pretty much left alone, so I'm not really going to touch them or they were fine by default. And then our last stop here is the camera settings. I move all the reticle speeds to fast and I move my sensitivity up to like 1.5 and 1.8 on everything. I like to have everything be fast and snappy because I use a trackball because I'm insane. Now the reticle direction I have set to camera's direction because setting it to character direction snaps you to wherever your character is looking when you aim down sights and that just kind of gives me a headache when I do that a lot. Plus it's easier to actually aim with your camera with a mouse anyway. And lastly, we set the camera distance to 100 so we can be zoomed out the furthest to see stuff better. And that's basically all my config options. And that's all for me, so I hope you learned something. Maybe this keybind video helped you set your stuff up too. Thank you all for watching, and good luck out there, hunters.